Hi guys, it is Kieran here, the Kilster, Kieran Kill uh, for CKTV YouTube. I'm just giving you my update, my seven year post-op VSG gastric sleeve weight loss surgery update uh, on March 30th, uh, 2017, I had the surgery in Galway, in Ireland, and um, I, a couple of, uh, up until the surgery, I'd done about five weeks on the um, liver diet, you know, the, to thin down the, to, thin, to get a bit of weight off before the surgery, and I lost, I think it was three stone on the, the pre-op diet, and that was just liquids, basically, that was tough going. And then I done, or that got me down from about 31 and a half stone down to about 29, or 28 and a half. And then went into my surgery on the 30th of March, 2017, with, uh, at about 28 and a half. Um, and thereafter, I lost a further, let me see, further 11 stone. Um, and then over time then, that was over the, the year and a half after the surgery, over time then I, I'd say put on a couple of stone and fluctuated a lot over it, but uh, thankfully this last year and a half or so I've taken off about a stone and a half of what I put on, I've only got about maybe half a stone, in between half a stone and a stone heavier than my lowest weight now, so I'm doing very very well with it, um, still a big guy, I'm lingering around the uh, in between 19 and 20 stone at the minute, but I'm I'm going down. I've, I'm losing pounds lately, so that's a good thing. Um, I'd love to get to eventually get to 17 or so. Uh, 18 is my focus at the moment, but uh, it's going very well, thankfully. And also um, things are going well with the uh, um, exercise is going good. I got into the wrestling training a while back. Not doing as much of that now. I'm doing a manager role, so I'm not really as full on with that these days but I'm still going back to the odd training and that I'm focusing more on gymming I'm really enjoying the gymming lately and going to the gym I'm really I got in I started doing a couch to 5k recently and I'm really enjoying that with the gang that do that I'm doing very well at that actually so I'm really chuffed it's a big my big goal now uh, going into my seven years which is a couple of days from now actually I'll be seven years post-op so my big goal going into that is to do the 5k um i'll do the 5k it's it's scheduled for the 13th of april i'm very determined i'm i'm uh running a good amount of minutes now with without stopping and repeat repeating that and stuff and it's going well and i feel like creeping it up every few days is really helping me and really motivating me so that's positive uh keeping the determination going with that type of thing will make or break me I think um, as far as I just think it's good to have challenges and goals I used to be of the mindset that oh I'm doing okay I'm not worrying too much about that type of thing but I've been really inspired by one thing and another now and it's really positive uh, met a girl uh, online uh, five years ago and she has uh, she also had the surgery she's done really well with her she's about four and a half years out I actually met her through one of the weight loss surgery groups and I helped her out when she was struggling and that was a big a very a big deal to be able to do that and it was very nice and um, me and her have become a couple now and she was in Ireland I've been in America and we're hoping to go back and forth in the times ahead and I'm really that's really going well so a big shout out to Sarah there who's uh, another uh, another um, WLS -er, or weight loss surgery person uh, really chuffed that I've met her and things are going well there thankfully uh, but uh, other than all that the big inspiration really for the getting back uh, taking challenges and doing the exercise stuff I think is just uh, you know I'm 37 now I feel like I want to get in good shape I want to get in a lot better shape and good better fitness before I'm 40 and I want to try and maintain that and be healthier long term. I think that's the big one because once you hit forty and you go over that mark, you tend you can slack off easily and middle age spread's a thing. And I think with our surgery, middle age spread mightn't hit as bad because there's only so much we can eat and there's only so much. But the slighter foods can do damage. But uh, I do think with our surgery, it's a big boost as far as avoiding or combating that middle age spread. But I think it's important to 
do all, take all the challenges and do as much as we can to uh, avoid that. So that's why I think something's clicked inside me lately and I want to focus on this more so. So um, overall, like to think that just days before my surgery, um, I was down with the anaesthetist. Uh, my anaesthetist, I think that's the way you say. And he was checking out everything for to try and I had appointments with my psychologist, my atheist or antheist or whatever it is, and my uh, my physician, the guy I was seeing all along to put me forward for the surgery, and then of course my surgeon. So I had meetings with them all, the surgeon, the physician, and the um, and the psychologist all said you're ready for it. Everything's going to go. Please God, everything go well. If we think you're ready for it, the an atheist a few days before it actually said to me, I don't think you should do this. The right side of your heart is in, in great shape. Or one of the sides of my heart, maybe in the left side. Uh, I don't th uh, I don't think you're going to be able for the surgery. So that was that got me in a, a horrible state of mind. I was worried sick. But then the surgeon said to me, you have, more to, you have more to gain from this than to lose from it. So we're going to give it a go. And because of the, of course, the mortality rate of the gut, of the weight loss surgery isn't bad, so they said they were gonna we're gonna do this for you. So I was thanking my lucky stars with that one and thanking God because uh, that was a a big deal. But uh, thank God everything's gone well. Uh, it's been seven years. Um, I'm not that superstitious, but <laughs> hopefully it's uh, seven years of good luck ahead as well because the last seven years have been turbulent as far as playing with the head and stuff the head hasn't been the best a lot of the time um, I've had to see I've, I've been attending counselors and everything over the over the years but you know it's all helped it's a positive to do that type of thing I believe and um, so it's only to help um, otherwise I really feel like it's been a, a great great achievement um, and it definitely isn't it's not the easy way out I don't care what anyone says but I think now that I'm proven that I'm able to Hang with the best of them now that I'm making an effort uh, these days. And I've been making an effort on and off, obviously, for the last seven years. But there's times you just get, get down. You're not as active and stuff. But, you know, the diet's going good these days too. Uh, really, really pushing myself to try and eat. Focus on the protein and not the sugar and carbs as much. It's always a, it's a constant battle in life, that type of thing. But, uh it's all positive folks and I'm really really chuffed that I've come this far seven years down and the rest of my life to go because it's never ending and the focus has to be always there but it's good thank God and uh, it's been great uh, great to everyone that's inspired me thank yous uh, anyone out there that you know says anything to me and I have over the years um, I really at the start I was enjoying the oh you're looking great you're looking great but lately I've been getting that again too which is nice because I don't like not an attention seeker or anything but I think it's positive to everything's positive I'm big into being positive to people with their achievements rather than begrudging people so that's the way to live you know what I mean uh, but we all have our moments I suppose but uh, thank you anyway anybody that uh, follows i don't do much youtubing anymore but i uh, thought i would put this out there because of the significant time it is and uh it's great to be alive great to be able to do things and uh it's we gotta gonna get out of here now take it easy dudes rock and roll strut and stroll all the best kyoster over <laughs> and out <laughs>